Okay, so here's what we did last year. I know what you did last winter. <laughs> so these are my wreaths from last year. Um, yeah, those are them. Um, following the same principles, it, the formula is sound. You just changed up the numbers. You know what I mean? Interchanging, exchanging, taking things out, putting things in. Simple. These are our supplies. You ready? We got the silvers. We got the whites. We got the blues. <laughs> These blues are so pretty. We got the pinks. We got a couple greens. If I do not open that other pack of green, I will not be using it and I will be sending it back to the store. Thank you. We have green ribbon, blue ribbon recycled, pink tool recycled, and silver ribbon that my son reloads. Candle number that. And I have this in case I'm putting the little balls together. I could use this or fishing wire, but my fishing wire is done. So this is what I'll use. Blue goes with the colors. Now we begin. Now let's proceed to do the sit-ups. Well, how, how does the TikTok go? Because TikTok lives run free in my mind. Now let's proceed to do the push-ups. Pull-ups. Sure. Come and quit the dirt, y'all. Hello and welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Yes, yes, I'm making it, I'm making it. It is your girl, Princess P, the real princey in a real life. And today we are prepping our wreath. We're just putting all the pieces together and tomorrow we will make the wreath. You coming tomorrow? You coming back? You staying with me? Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share all of that good stuff. And you done know so we pick up all of the real ones every day, all day. Cheer. Wreath to make it more full. In those places that had like little missing pieces. So first of all, I'm going to hang this up. I'm going to create my little balls. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting together some ball bunches. And this is going to be a part of the decoration of my wreath. I'm cutting this ribbon on a slant. So I'll have a point so it's easier to put that through the small hole of the ball. If you could see, it's a little pointy. There you go. And that will make it so much easier to string it when I'm making these bunches. I'm just using this ribbon because it's so easy and it's cost effective. And yeah, if those things pop off the tops, just push them right back in. I also have my gun, my glue gun handy. <laughs> Got yourself a glue gun handy. So I could just glue them back just so they'll never fall off ever again. <laughs> These are my colors, so I literally just used any leftover um, ornaments that I had from my tree. Especially when you decorate half the tree or three quarter of the tree or skimp on the back like I did this time, you'll always have some leftover. And it doesn't matter, you can do bunches of three, you could do bunches of four, you could do bunches of two. It's really up to you, there's no wrong answer. There you go, they all have different color combinations, different textures, anything really goes, to be honest. All right, so this vlog is called Bows and balls that was the balls part it's the bows the bows are the part so I have this ribbon that I've had for a very long time and this is a technique that I've seen people use to make their ribbons okay you cross it over you either put like a ring or you tie the middle it doesn't work for this material so if you watch what I did I tied the ribbon around my hand creating a bow and I'm going to do it many times and show you exactly what I did. All right, let's slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. <laughs> so you create a loop 
then you bring the end around your hand all right my fingers see my fingers bring it around grab it in your fingers and pull it through the loop you just brought around now you're having now you have two ends one end of the bow tightens and one end loosens you see you can manipulate it play with it make it bigger make it smaller and customize it again much faster <laughs> but you'll see me fiddling and playing with it making it tighter making it smaller customizing it how i like it that's just how i make these fabric bows So to create the tails, what I do is I fold the end in half, then I take my scissors and I make a diagonal cut downward, facing down, away from the bow. And that's how you get even tails on each side. Again, cutting away from the bow head, going down, that's how you do it. And cut with confidence, please. You see that little jiggy jaggy? Mm -mm. That will kind of never cut with confidence. Cut it with confidence. Straight lines, sharp scissors, because you know these ribbons get really tricky and they can fray sometimes. Usually when you're cutting diagonally, they don't, but that's how I get the tails of this ribbon. And I'm going to show you again on another fabric ribbon. I got these little embellishments from the dollar store and you'll see at the end how I put it all together with my ribbon. So I just realized like this is a two layer ribbon and um, being frugal and stretching out my ting, I cut the length of the ribbons that I want and I'm going to tear this apart in half. So yeah, I'm just tearing this apart at the seams. You'll see that there is some fray. To me, it doesn't matter. See that wire? This wire is actually really good. I ended up using it to tie the middle of my bows. It's really flexible. So, really good wire. All right, so this pink fabric is similar to the blue one. And again, I don't like that method. So we're gonna do the same method, the loop around my hand, pull it through, just to make my fabric pink ribbon. This is not velvet on both sides, so I have to go in and actually like twist it to make sure that the premium side is face up. <laughs> And we have the textured side showing because that's the beauty of this ribbon. And I play with it as I go along and little ideas come to me. That would be really cute, putting it on the actual ornament but then I also don't like to make permanent decisions because I want to reuse these in different ways so I leave it for now so going back to the method that didn't work for the other fabrics it totally works for this this ribbon is so luxe and beautiful I love it I love the color I love the finish I got this ribbon from Michaels for I believe $12 and there was definitely a sale. So check out Michaels if you want some nice luxury ribbon. I'm using the same fold and slant 
technique to make the ends of my ribbon. Look how pretty that is. Pretty. And I play with it. What I used was that little wire that I took from the blue ribbon. I used it in this ribbon in the middle of this ribbon to hold it before I actually added the embellishment and again these embellishments are from Dollarama now I didn't want to put glue on my actual ribbon so I put the glue only on the piece of embellishment pretty and I will do that a couple more times. <laughs> Squeeze, tie, and that is the shape of your ribbon. And you don't have to cut the ends. I'm gonna show you other little things that you can do and you can accent the ends of the ribbon. I show you four different styles for this one beautiful ribbon. Okay, so with this bowl, I'm gonna make it a little bit different. You can still manipulate this bow once you've tied it. It does take a little bit more force, especially if you tie it too tight. Um, this ribbon does fray quite a bit once it's cut in a certain direction. So I'm just using the other piece of embellishment that I used with the other bow. And I'm just gonna add this to the bottom to tie it in and to give this ribbon a little flare. Y'all know I'm going back to add some bows to my tree, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do an updated tree because these ideas, my gosh, they're so beautiful. These embellishment stickers are actually so good because I'm telling you right now, this is a second use and they still have tack. So, I mean, Dollarama is doing something right, <laughs> okay? Voila. Two ribbons so far, three ribbons so far. For this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to line the bottom with the gemstones, with the rhinestones, I should say. Again, purchased at Dollarama, and these are the sticker strips, so I don't have to use the glue gun. one side and this is so 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 pretty outlining the edges just added that little bit of luxe to the ribbon So here I just finished up the bowl, I added the center embellishments, and there you go, there you have it. These are the four bowl styles that I created that I'm going to use in my wreath, 
and some just might have to go on my tree. <laughs> and I'm signing out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Vlogmas Day with me, your girl, Princess P, the real princey. You done know said real ones, you're the realest in the world, and we're real too. Big up all my real ones, you done know said real recognize real in our real life. Don't forget to stay with me. Please subscribe, comment, share. Give this a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Until tomorrow, y'all is decorating the three with me or what? Love ya. Toodles.